Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them out into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off and he went out again around noon and at around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out at about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and he said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When, he, when it was evening, the landowner, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started at five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. When the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. On receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, this last one's worked only one hour and you gave them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to, one in to them in reply, my friend, I am not cheating you. Do you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I, am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I'm generous? Thus, the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. When was the last time you said, it's not fair. I did all this and they did that and we have the same, it's not fair. Our Gospel reading has some real important messages for us today. When we read the parable of the workers and in the vineyard, we see how no matter when God calls us back from whatever we're doing in life, no matter where we're at in life, God calls us back in that particular place and we all receive the same gift. The gift of his love, the gift of his mercy, and the gift of his presence. The same way we read other parables in the gospel, there's one that really stands out that really, I think, kind of mirrors what's going on in this particular gospel passage, and that is the parable of the prodigal son, where something similar happened. You know the story. The one son asks for his inheritance, he goes off and he squanders it, he comes to his senses, he comes back while his other brother does everything his father tells him to do and remains faithful to his father, he comes back and his father welcomes him in with a ring on his finger and a celebration because he came back. Then his brother went to his father and saying, how can you give him all of this when I've been with you all the time? Again, he was envious what was happening. And I think that's what happens often in our lives where we think, in human terms, not in God's terms. You know, I look at my own life. You know, when I reflect on this particular gospel passage, there are different ways that we could look at this gospel passage and get different meanings from it. There's deep theological content here, but there's also real fruitful spiritual reflection we could chew on. And one of the things is putting ourselves in the labors in the vineyard. If you notice, you had the laborers that came in first, then at nine, then at noon, then at five o'clock, different times of the day. They all labored 
and they all receive the same wage. Now, when I think about that, I think about all of us. You know, each one of us, by the virtue of our baptism, is called to be workers in God's vineyard. Each one of us is called to be workers in the vineyard of evangelization, reaching out into the world, trying to do what we can to bring the gospel message alive to those who really need it. God calls us in different, part, different times in our lives. Some of us are serving God from the very beginning, and they faithfully serve him all the way through, and they get their gift. Some start when they're way late in life, maybe in their 20s or 30s, and they still get that same gift. Some start when they're really up there in age, and they still get that same gift. It doesn't mean that because you worked all your entire life that you're going to get a bigger gift. No, it's the same grace. It's the same mercy. It's the same love that God has for each one of us. You know, we each can have our own story when God touched us and touched us to go out and be workers in his vineyard. I, for myself, you know, I was born a Catholic. I was baptized, raised in the church. I made my sacraments. I was an altar boy. I even went into, I went to a retreat for a possibility of becoming a priest. This was back when I was in eighth grade, a long time ago. And, uh, and I think back to that, and, and you know, I thought God was calling me there to work in the vineyard. But the world had other things for me, and I drifted away like many of us do in our life, in high school, in college, drifted away. But God called me back in my early 20s. And from that point on, he had me working in, in the vineyard. And through the times of ministry that I've been involved in the church, I've seen people come in in different walks of life, working in the vineyard. You see, God calls each one of us in different ways. God calls each one of us in a way that is unique to us. We're called to all to do one important thing, that's service to the other. And so when we think about this, the story of the vineyard and the workers, think about yourselves. Think about how God is calling you. God is calling you to a deeper relationship with him. God is calling you to work out that relationship in his church, wherever you're at in life. God is calling you to be the disciple that can really effectively impact the world for Christ. No matter where we're at in life, God is calling us. And at the very end of the day, we will all receive the same gift. We will all receive the same grace because God is generous, he's loving, and he's merciful. And more than anything, he wants us to be with him. He wants us to be walking with him every step of the way. And so as we continue our Eucharistic celebration, think about how can we respond to God's generosity? How can we respond to the message of the gospel today? Where do you see yourself in the story of the workers and the vineyard that you come in in the beginning that you come in in the middle or you come in in just now because at the end of the day it really doesn't matter when you come in as long as you come in because that's where the grace is that's where the hope is and that's when we will find our purpose in god's plan